Hi everyone, it's Patty. Welcome back to the Pixie Dust Designs YouTube channel. For today's card project, I am using Wizard World standalone dies in the Wizard World stamp set. So to get started, I used all three pieces of the hat and cut the back layer out of black card stock, the middle layer out of brown, and then just the top part of the hat out of uh, craft card stock. And I did that just so I could shade the top part a little differently from the bottom part. So got those cut out and tucked away in my little container so that everything is safe because I do lose my die cuts on a regular basis. And then after I got those cut out, I grabbed the stamp set and I'm creating my own background paper. So using Expressit cardstock, which is Copic friendly, and Memento Tuxedo Black ink, I am covering the card panel with this stamp. I'm not going to make you watch me do all of the stamping. I think you kind of get the gist of what's going on here. So you do want some of the stamps to go off the edge and face in different directions. I think that's probably the best thing I can say if you want to create your own um, pattern paper. So there I've completed it and it is ready to go. So now for coloring, um, I'm starting off trying to figure out what I want to do. So the one book is going to be a deep red that I'm coloring right now. And I did color some parts of the binding using uh, a Sakura jelly roll in gold. So it had that gilded, gilt edged on it, which I love. And then I started with my darkest color, which was RV66. And then I'm going over it with my next darkest color, which is R39. And I'm just pulling up from that line and pulling down from the top line when I'm doing this. Oh, and some of these I'm coloring in gold as well. And for that part, I used YR24 and YR23. So now I'm blending down from the top with the middle color, the R39. And then I will come in with the lightest. Oh, I decided to color in with the blue next. I apologize. So finishing that up, getting that blue line in. So at the edge of each book, I'm just coloring in the darkest. And you can see where I used the gold Secura pen now that the blue is colored in. And then I went with the medium. And so for the blues, I used uh, B39 for my darkest, then B37, then B34. So now I'm going in with the hat and for the spots that I feel I have the most shadow. I'm going in with my darkest, which is E79. And I don't have this sped up too much because I just, I always like it when people allow me to see how they color. So I'm just doing little um, swish marks, I guess, up and down the sides of the hat because those, to me, the light source is straight on. So to me, those would be the darkest spots. And then I'm going to come in with my next darkest color which is E59 and just kind of going over what I colored and going out a little more on these. And then the third color is E57 and I'm just going to color everything else that's left on the hat. So you see there's a little bit of a highlight in the middle and a highlight on certain parts of the hat. There's some highlights on the book. And so now I'm coming in with a micron black pen and just accentuating where I feel like his eyes and his mouth are so they stand out a little more. And so that's how I colored all of the books. And then once I had them all colored, I outlined all of them in C3. I just had you watch that one. And then I went over it with C1 a little further. And then I went over it with C00 a little further to help them pop out on the background. You didn't need to do this, but I like doing it. I like how it looks. It almost like makes the paper look like vellum to me. So I did that on 
all the rest of the hats that we colored. And you can see I'm not working it real hard. I'm just going over the edge of what I had done before. And now I'm in with the C00. And that's the last one I used. So the background is done. So now I'm just going to do a little shading on the top part of the hat and around the edges of the middle layer of the hat. And then it just comes together and it's so fantastic. The, you know, the parts that are cut out and then there's the embossing from the die. It's really so well done. So now I'm just gluing on that top layer on the hat. Okay, so now to put it together, so just trying to decide what I like best. So now I'll stamp it, the sentiment, which also comes from the Wizard World stamp set. And I used my Versifying Black ink, which I just always use on sentiments. And then I will cut these out with uh, Simon Says Stamp nested banner dies. And the one I choose is, is much too long for this sentiment, but you just, you know, move it around and it cuts off the edges. I had to do a little touch up on that stamp because I had a fuzz on my towel when I wiped it to condition it and it showed up on there. I'm trying to decide if I prefer it with vellum over it and I did not. So also I cut out the background using MFT's inside out diagonal stitch die. So trying to decide which way I like it. And I'm cutting out the vellum, but I decided not to use it after all of that. I just really like how the background turned out and it's such a beautifully illustrated stamp. I didn't want to mute it at all. It was really well done. Yeah, it just covers too much of the design of the hat. I couldn't stand it. I love, I love the design of those hats. So now that I've decided what I want, I'm getting the card base and the hat together. I'll go ahead and attach the card panel to the card base. And then I'm going to put some foam on the back of the hat and the back of our sentiment. And get that foam trimmed off. It's so nice, you know, being able to use a stamp set so many ways really helps stretch your supplies, whether you're using it for a background stamp or just a focal. It's really wonderful. I Stamps are my favorite thing with crafting with. I like dies, but I love stamps. So just lining up the way I want it. Get that straightened out and tucked under the hat properly. And then I'm going to grab my Wink of Stella in clear and give the hat a little sparkle. Oh, sorry, I apologize. I decided to put sequins on before I gave the hat a little sparkle. So I'm using some fall colored sequins and I pulled the brown and the gray blues out and put them all around my card front. And then I'll just glue them down. And I'm using barely art glue. Even though it's in a nouveau container because that's what works with the gun or the glue press. Okay, and now I'm grabbing my Wink Stella to get a little glitter on the hat. And that's going to complete my card. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful day.